Welcome, everyone. I'm Alfred Lambermont Weber, and it's a great pleasure to be here today with Alberto Cogliani, who's coming to us from Italy. Welcome, Alberto, and over to you. Hello, everybody. Peace be with you. Uh, hello, welcome to my school, the uh, school, the spiritual school, Academy of Talents. Today, I will tell you about astrology. I will tell you about the guardian angel. I will tell you about extraterrestrials on planet Earth. I will tell you about the Akashic records. But first, I tell you about, I teach you the techniques to achieve uh, enlightenment. The first technique is meditation. Meditation is the most important thing. You close your eyes and you concentrate on your breath or on the face of a master, the face of Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, Muktananda, Yogananda. Uh, do meditation, you will realize not only you will find peace and you will find contact with your spirit and God, but you will understand the most important thing, which is that nothing exists. My master told me, you will find out what is real and what is not real. And it took me 30 years of meditation. I have done 27,000 hours of meditation in these 30 years. And I have achieved enlightenment. And the final level of enlightenment, the final awakening, is that nothing exists. In the end, you will realize that nothing exists except you. And you are God, infinite creator meditation. The other technique is mantra, Om Namah Shivaya. All the techniques are, are contained in this, in this uh, technique. In the Kali Yuga, the age of darkness now, it is enough to repeat the name of God to achieve enlightenment. Yes, it's easier. Now that it's so dark, it's easier to achieve God. You just have to repeat the mantra Om Namah Shivaya and you will achieve enlightenment. I have repeated it for five hours every day for 30 years. You do the same. You do repeat on Shivaya all day, a loud voice, and do meditation all night. It's what I've done for 30 years. It was all the great masters. Muktananda did nine hours of meditation a day. Nityananda, 15 hours a day of meditation. 15 hours a day. So do meditation, mantra. And now I tell you about astrology. Astrology is a very real science. I used to be an astrologer in my past lives. At those times, uh, a monk was also an astrologer. So I was an astrologer. Astrology is very real. The day you are born decides everything in your life. I was born on 21st June, 75. And yesterday, I had moon in opposition. And the moon was moon in opposition and it was trouble. So everything is written. You're born, decides 50% of your destiny. The other 50% is free will. So is free will real? If you, if you think that it's all, it's all to yesterday I had moon in opposition because I was born 50 years ago at that day. So it means predestination. So it means that free will is not total. It's not total. There is predestination. It depends that you are, you are born that day and every and all, all after 50 years, you have one day, you have a moon in opposition and you are in trouble and you are nervous. So it's all written. So it means that free will is not total. It's only partial in our lives. So destiny, predestination, astrology. Astrology used to be called the law of reincarnation because they know they knew that astrology was connected with the predestination. Astrology tells you everything. I had my astral chart done when I was 18 and the astrologer told me my future. He could see already when I was 18, 30 years ago, he could see already my future. And he could tell me, he told me that I would be a master. 
is the same. The same, the soldier told me the same that the clairvoyant told me, that the psychic told me, that my guru told me. They all told me the same thing. It, it means that they can see it. It means that it's predestination. So it means that it, there is a predestination. It means that it is already written. It means that the future is partially already written. <coughs> so it means that, so what about free will? Is free will real? Is free will total? No. It's decided already. So if you see the future now, in, in 2600, in the United States, there will be the sixth race. And the people who will be there, it's already decided. So they're not free. They, they're, they are here now, and they will be there now. So if they're not free, they will, they will have to be there now. So it means that there is predestination. It means that, it, that the future is partially already written. Partially. So it's astrology. Astrology is a very real science. I, I listen to the horoscope. I believe in astrology. I believe in the horoscope. I listen to my astrologer every day. You do that also. Trust it. You can trust the horoscope. Find a good astrologer and listen to what he say. He will help you. He will tell you what to do, when to do, not to do, not to do a contract. Today, don't do a contract. Today, stay at home. Don't do, don't do meeting of work. Don't sign contract today. And it's perfect. Or he can tell you, today you will sign a contract. He told me 20 years ago, the day he told me you will sign a contract, I did sign a contract of my job. The only day that I did it in my life. So he knew it. So it means that the soldiers are like psychic and like mediums and like guru. They can see the future. My guru went to India. I went to a, a psychic. And the psychic said, you will meet in three days, Mahavatar Babaji. And he did that. And it was written already. It's all written. So where is written? In the Akashic Records. And now I tell you about the Akashic Records. The uh, past, present, and future is written down in the ether, in the Akasha. It's called the Akashic Records. I can read it. Any psychic can read it. Any clairvoyant can read it. Any guru can read it. Uh, also astrologers, uh, partially. An astrologer can be also a clairvoyant. Sometimes it's like that. Uh, I can see the future. I've realized in these years that I can see the timeline. I can see the Akasha. It's called the Akasha. It's the, uh, the ether, the universal ether, where everything is written. Past, present, and future is written. So I can see the future. For this reason, I, can, I have the... the uh, the, I'm a prophet, I can prophesy. I have told you the future, I can tell you again. I can tell you that this planet in six years will be another planet. I told you already many times that we will do a shift uh, like from prehistory to now, we will do in the next six years. We do those 5,000 years that we have done, we will do in the next six years. So we are going to do a complete shift on planet Earth. It's in the Akasha. I can see it in the Akashic records. Uh, any clairvoyant can see the Akashic records, any psychic, any guru, any self-realized master, every enlightened master. Uh, Sai Baba could see that. I can see that. Uh, I'm doing now, Alfred, I'm doing things the same day. Uh, one month ago, I said a wave of love will come to planet Earth and will... Uh, eliminate all negativity and bring heaven on earth. And from today, I want to create 150 groups of meditation action in the world. The same day, a great master in Italy, Baba Isha Atmananda Francesco, did and said the same thing, exactly the same thing. Yesterday, I created the, the, the project Shiva, my friend Silvia Sorrentino, was that day, yesterday, uh, did a recording, an interview about Shiva. Uh, yesterday again, I created a group, uh, Christ Consciousness, to unite all the masters on the planet with me. I have connected already with two masters, Lux and Shatmananda in Italy. In the same day, Lux created the project Triadema, which is the union of all the masters. 
It's amazing. So the same day I'm doing the same thing that other masters are doing. The day I create a group to unite with the masters, the other master looks, does the same. The same day that I create the groups all over the planet and I say the way of love is coming, the other master says the way of love is coming and he creates the same groups. It's amazing. I'm do, we are doing because we are in the Christ consciousness. We are the same person. We are you we are used by the Christ consciousness. And so we say the same thing. The same for months, I say the same thing that Monique Mathieu, the greatest con uh, channeler in France, used to say. I say that the dark force will be eliminated she, the same day she said the dark force will be eliminated. I say a new, we have 50 timeline. We have 50 timeline. She said we have 50 timeline. And the new timeline is positive and it goes into ascension. She said, she said so I'm saying the same things that the, that the greatest channeler and the greatest masters are doing the same day that they are doing it. It means that I am completely merged in the Christ consciousness. Like they are. So it means that we are the same Christ consciousness. So that's the classic record. Then I tell you about the Garden Angel. Garden Angel is very real. There's a man in Italy who can see angels. His name is Adamo Cirelli. You find it on YouTube. Adamo Cirelli, C I R E L L I Cirelli. You can find it on YouTube. He can see the angel and he can see the person and he can see the, the problems of the person. He, he, he tells the person, Look, your angel is telling me that you have this problem and that problem. So it's amazing. And I am friend, he's my friend on Facebook and he's going to do it with me. He's going to do it to, read, to talk to my angel and tell me what my angel is telling me. So the guardian angel is very real. You have to call the guardian angel. You must call the guardian angel's help. Otherwise, he cannot help you. People don't know this on planet Earth. Unfortunately, people don't know this on planet Earth. Uh, that that, uh, that uh, the guardian angel, you must call him. You must call for help. You must say, guardian angel, you come to me and help me now. Otherwise, he cannot do that. It's amazing. I don't know why, but there's this, this divine law that he cannot help you if you don't ask him. So many people don't, don't ask. They don't know that they have to ask, so they don't ask, and they cannot be helped. You must call him. Go help me. I got an angel, come to me and help me with this problem, that problem. Uh, help me with this friendship or help me with my job and everything. So God an angel is very real. He's an angel. He used to be a man in his uh, past uh, universal cycle. And he will be an archangel in the next universal cycle. And he's an angel. He's made of uh, he, his lowest body is the etheric body, and he's made of light. And he has his eighth dimension, eight chakras, eight dimension. He's a being of light and love. Uh, there are many kinds of angels, many many kinds of angels. Alfred, uh, you have the angels of love, the angels of wisdom, the angels of of purity, the angels of healing, the angels of strength, the angels of power, the angels of light, the angels of God, the angels of uh, of destiny, the angels that help you with your work, the angels that help you find a job, the angels, the angels of a mountain, the angels of everything. There are many, many kinds of angels. So these are real. And then you have archangels. Archangels are take care of, uh, of groups of people, of a nation, of a planet. Planet Earth is a female soul. And Mother Mary was the archangel manifestation of the planet. Mother Mary is a manifestation of the archangel of the planet, the soul of the planet. So that's uh, the uh, guardian angel. Now, extraterrestrial, there are 300 million, 300 million extraterrestrials getting to planet Earth. I am one of them, a mission on planet Earth. My master told me, my guru told me that I am an extraterrestrial of sixth dimension from Sirius. I come from Star Sirius, sixth dimension. I am on mission on planet Earth, and my mission is to start a new age, save humanity, bring humanity to ascension, and spread and bring as many people as possible to enlightenment. And I'm doing all that. I've done already all of this. I'm now taking uh, 150 groups all over the planet, like Baba Muktananda had. It took him 20 years. It took me one day because I called a friend and he, he gave me his, uh, his 150 groups. So I have those groups and I'm planning to bring as many, uh, thousands of people to enlightenment. So that's my mission. Uh, there are 300 million 
extraterrestrials on planet Earth. They come from six dimensions, four dimensions, from all over the universe. Of these uh, 300 million, 50,000 come from the solar system. Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. 50,000 are extraterrestrial from the solar system, from the fifth dimension. And they are here, they have a mission, they have to start the new age, they have to bring humanity to ascension, and they are doing it. It's done already. We have, the game is over already. We have succeeded. Humanity is saving town. It's impossible, a nuclear war on planet Earth. Impossible. It cannot be a nuclear war on planet Earth. Cannot be a world war on planet Earth. Cannot be a new virus on planet Earth. The soul of planet Earth has decided that it doesn't want on his body nuclear explosions, world war, or new virus. So it cannot be. So the extraterrestrials have karmic permission to intervene and stop all the viruses, wars, and nuclear explosions. From now on, the extraterrestrials have said that the positive extraterrestrials have said that they can completely intervene in our destiny. From now on, they can intervene 100%. They can appear in our houses. They will land. They will land in 2027 all over the planet. They are landing already. They are all over the skies now. Everyone is seeing them. Hundred millions of people are seeing them uh, in the sky. And they, are, they have contacted already the governments. The governments of the earth know, know that they exist and they want peace on earth. So the governments of planet earth will be forced to stop war and start peace. That's why I'm telling you that in six years, there will be no wars on planet Earth, no viruses, curable diseases. I can see it in the Akasha, the Akashic records, like I told you. I can see the timeline. And this planet Earth, there are many planet Earths. This timeline, this planet Earth, this version of planet Earth, in six years, is paradise on Earth. No wars, no suffering, no darkness, no negativity, no karma, no suffering, no children suffering, nothing. We will be, in only six years, we will step, we will jump 5,000 years. And we are all ascending. The planet is ascending. The planet is now already in fourth dimension. In six years, 2029 is fifth dimension. And the, the frequency is so high now. In these days, it's so high. You will you uh, hear rings in your ears, and you have very strong energies now. The planet is going into fifth. The frequency is very high. All the negative entities will have to leave the planet. The reptilians, the greys, the Illuminati, the archons, and all the, uh, the, the negative entities inside the planet. The planet is inside, planet Earth is, is inhabited. There are seven civilizations inside planet Earth. Lemurians, Atlanteans, Hyperboreans, Ashtar, which is us from the future. We from the future live inside the planet, for dimension. And they're tracking the timeline to make sure that we get there. And we are getting there. We have shifted, we have shifted the timeline. I said in 2008, my master, I said, we have shifted the timeline. My master said, yes, you're right. We have shifted the timeline. We, we, have win, we have won the game, Alfred. The game is over. The light has won. The light has won. Do not, even if you see this year, this year you will see a mess. You will see a lot of negativity this year. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Don't care about it. From next year, it's over. It's over. The game is over. The light has won. The dark forces are at lost. They are desperate. They don't know what to do. They are trying to make war everywhere because they don't know what to do. They've lost. They know that they've lost and they do not accept it. So this is the future of humanity. The planet is already, say, uh, Anne Givaudan, a great uh, contactee and client channeler, she has said that, she has, uh, that the game is over, that we have won, and that uh, she has seen already planet Earth in uh, the Galactic Federation of Planets, and she has seen already planet Earth joining all the other, the other planets of the solar system. She said, yes, the Esther have we won, we will we we will win the game, the light forces. She said she said we have won already. I've seen it, we have won already. Planet Earth has already joined the, the other planets in the Galactic Federation and in the and the fifth dimension. 
So the game is over. The light is won. We're going to fifth dimension in a couple of years. Only this year is terrible. Don't care about it. Don't listen to it. Don't watch the news. Don't watch television. Don't care what you hear. Don't listen to it. Just go do meditation. Repeat on Namah Shiva all day. Do meditation all night. Stay alone in the silence. That's paradise. If you want paradise, you just stay like I do every day or morning. Stay in the garden, listening to the birds, looking at the sun. That's all you have to do. All the free time that you have, stay in the garden, looking at the sun, in the sun, listening to the birds, looking at the sky. That's all you have to do. I repeat on Namah Shivaya. That's all you have to do. In, in this time, you can achieve enlightenment just by repeating on Namah Shivaya. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do any other technique. So, because on Namah Shivaya, if you repeat on Namah Shivaya, then you go immediately into meditation. On Namah Shivaya brings you into meditation. Uh, my first years, I used to do on Namah Shivaya, and then I would fall into meditation for an hour. That's why we do it at the spiritual center, we would do uh, 40 minutes of chanting on Namah Shivaya, and then 10 minutes of meditation. You do Om Shivaya, then you do meditation. That's the way you do it. So Akashic Records, Guardian Angel, Esoterrestrial of the Earth, Astrology. Uh, <laughs> for this reason, I can see the Akasha, and I told you the future. The Akashic Record is real. It's all written partially. That's why astrology works, because astrology is connected with the Akasha. The day you were born decides 50% of your life. The other 50% is free will. Now, so that's the reality we are in. Now, all the extraterrestrials on the planet Earth have achieved their mission. The planet is shifting, the planet is ascending. Trouble is over. We are going to join, we already have a seat in the Galactic Federation. We are going to have complete change on this planet in the next six years. In six years, we will have time travel. We will have eight kinds of time travel, not, not just one. We will have nine kinds of teleportation, not just one. We will uh, spend all day. Everything will be free. Everything will be free for free, Alfred. Food, electricity, light, gas, uh, rent, my car, transportation, uh, clothes. Anything you can have, you can have for free. <coughs> it will be a new dimension. It will be science fiction. We are going to experience science fiction. So it's going to be a complete change. You can put the title, Alfred Alberto Cogliani, uh, Academy of Talents, a uh, new reality, new new planet Earth is coming. Alberto Gugliani, Academy of Talents, a new planet Earth is coming. I can see the Akasha, my master can see the Akasha. I told my master we have 50 timeline. Uh, what has happened is this, that in, in 1987, we had the harmonic convergence in the United States and we shifted timeline. And we went to the, the, the gods, the angels and the Pleiadians have managed to shift timeline, to insert their timeline. So the, the dark forces could not insert their timeline. So we, we could insert our timeline, which is which uh, comes out, goes into ascension, and we have put aside all the timelines with the war or with the negativity. So we have shifted timeline. There's a new timeline. All the prophecies, like Nostradamus, are canceled. All the negative prophecies on Nostradamus are canceled. Nostradamus, uh, Massalione, Padre Pio, uh, all Baba, all the, uh, all the prophets, all the people who, the clairvoyants who have said negative things about the present. 2024, it's canceled. We have shifted timeline, we are in a new timeline, which has never been seen before, which has never been considered before. It was not programmed, it's a, it's a miracle. God, the angels, and the Pleiadians have managed to insert their timeline in 1987. And we made it. And a great Chico, Chico, 
Chris Xavier said, if you manage, if you manage to, to arrive at 2012 without nuclear war, it cannot be anymore. And exactly what it is. It cannot be anymore. We have managed to arrive at 2012 without a nuclear war. It cannot be anymore. So we are saving sound. Uh, the humanity is saving sound. Nothing bad is going to happen. All the earthquakes, terrible earthquakes, yes. That's the only thing that the SSRS cannot uh, stop. The SSRS now can intervene completely in our lives, and they will do it. They will do. You will see them in the skies everywhere. They have contacted the governments. They are going to uh, land all over the planet in, in three years. They will land everywhere in Africa. Africa, first of all, to save all the children. All the children of Africa are safe and sound. No more suffering. No more. Not one child. Not one child will die of anger anymore in Africa. Not one more. In three years, the gate, there will be no more salvation. We will all be in fifth dimension, everything for free. We will all be same and sound, living joyfully. And what we will do, we will uh, spend all day, no work, we will spend all day expressing our creative talents. And planet Earth will become the Florence of the 1500 of the galaxy. Planet Earth will become the, uh, the, the planet of the talents, of the arts, of the galaxy. And the Master of Shambhala are starting now a new uh, renaissance, like they did in 1500. The renaissance of Leonardo da Vinci was created by the Masters of Shambhala. Leonardo da Vinci was one of them. Leonardo da Vinci was the head of the, uh, the, the Society of Sirius. And he came from Sirius, like me, like my master also comes from Sirius. All the great masters on the planet come from Sirius. Oshulas Nish, Krishna, all the great masters come from Sirius and from Venus. Shambhala, it's uh, an, uh, an, uh, a quarter, headquarters of Shambhala from Venus. Uh, 10 million years ago, people from entities from Venus came to Earth and created Shambhala. And they are now in Shambhala in the ether, in Tibet, in the mountains of Tibet, Himalaya. Shambhala, they're guiding the planet and they want to restart a renaissance. And they will restart it as soon as the Illuminati are gone. They will start it in Florence and they will start a world renaissance, a galactic renaissance. So uh, human beings on planet Earth, we human beings, Homo sapiens sapiens is going to shift. Homo sapiens sapiens is going to become Homo galacticus, which means Galacticus means uh, 12 chakras open activation and 12 strands of DNA activation. It says we're going to shift like we did from Homo erectus to Homo sapiens sapiens. Now we're going to shift in the next six years. We're going to shift from Homo sapiens sapiens to Homo galacticus with 12 chakra system activation open and 12 strand DNA activation. And we are all going to be like Leonardo da Vinci and Buddha. Leonardo da Vinci, by the way, was a Buddha, was enlightened completely, and he could fly. And he had all the cities. He, the cities are the eight powers. Uh, now I tell you about liberation. To achieve liberation, a man has to cut his etheric body. Every man has seven bodies, one within the other, physical, etheric, astral, mental, causal, supracausal, or spiritual, and divine spirit. Physical, you see, etheric is made of ether, prana. Astral is the third chakra. The stomach is the body of emotions, which you use when you dream, dream state. So it's the third body, astral body, dream state, emotions, the body of emotions. Fourth body is the mind, which does not exist. Fifth the body, fifth body is the causal body at the throat, fifth chakra, as a deep sleep. Six bodies in the, the pituitary gland, the blue pearl, which I can see. I see the blue pearl in the head of people, which is the spirit of the person, which is uh, bliss, Ananda Mayakosha, the, the body of bliss. And the seven bodies, God, the white pearl inside the blue pearl, which I can see, the white pearl, which is the spark of God, which is God in man, which is a bliss of eternity. My name, Nityananda, bliss of eternity. Shiva Nityananda Brahmananda. God dwells in the head of man in the form of uh, eternal bliss. 
in the state of consciousness of bliss of eternity. So this is, these are the bodies of men. The goal of life is to awaken the Kundalini and bring it to the seventh chakra. So I teach you now, you, uh, to awaken the Kundalini, you repeat Onama Shivaya, you do meditation, and you practice chastity. Onama Shivaya brings your sexual energy to your head. When your sexual energy reaches the head, it opens the sixth chakra and the seventh chakra. Sixth chakra is the sixth body, the spirit. Seventh chakra is the body of God, the white pearl. I see the blue pearl with the white pearl inside, inside the, man of, uh, the head of man. And so you awaken the Kundalini, repeat on Shivaya, and that brings the Kundalini, the sexual energy. The Kundalini is partially the sexual energy. Uh, the sexual energy, the mind, and the breath are three modifications of the same substance, prana. Prana is sexual energy in the state of inertia. Prana is the mind in the state of movement in the heart. The mind is the contraction of prana in the heart. It's not in the head. And the Kundalini, when it reaches the heart, the mind stops. So you, if you bring your Kundalini to your head, the mind stops and you reach your spirit. That's the Kundalini. Listen to the Kundalini. Uh, read everything in internet, how to awaken the Kundalini with the K Kundalini and bring it to your head, to your seventh chakra. When the Kundalini reaches the uh, fifth chakra, the person becomes a genius, like uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. When the Kundalini reaches the sixth chakra, the person becomes like Padre Pio. And when the, uh, the Kundalini reaches the seventh chakra, the person becomes like Baba Muktananda or Buddha. So, and the Christ had achieved complete union with God. The Christ knew. Why did uh, the Buddha also? They knew the Christ, the Buddha, they had achieved complete enlightenment and uh, awakening. The Christ and the Buddha were the two most awakened souls on planet Earth. And they were the same. The Buddha, why did, why did the Buddha call his final enlightenment, his final awakening, nirvana, which means annihilation? extinction, elimination, nothingness, because I have achieved it and I can tell you why. Because the final, there are many levels of enlightenment, but the final level of enlightenment, you will realize that nothing exists except you and you are God, infinite creator, be, be, before creation. This is, uh, it took me 26 years. When my master saw me the first time, he said, this boy is this close to Nirvana. It took me 26 years to do that. And uh, 2019, after 26 years, I achieved Nirvana and I realized that nothing exists. Nothing exists except me. All that you see, Alfred, is your projection. All that you see, Alfred, is only a projection of you, a creation of you, of your mind. If you stop your mind, there is no more house, there is no more tree, there is no more car, there's no street, there's no car, there's no tree, there's no, there's no mountain, there's nothing, there's no house. <coughs> there is only you. There is only your consciousness, only your deep sleep. You were in deep sleep. There is only an infinite black hole filled with consciousness. Shiva, I am Shiva, God. Aham Brahmamsi, I am Brahman, God. Tattva Masi, you are that, God. I and the Father are one, Jesus Christ. I and the Father are one, the Christ said it. The Christ experienced what I experience now. The Christ knew that there is only God. How could the Christ say I am the Father of one? Because he realized that there is only the Father in everything. So when you see the tree, there is no tree. It's God in the tree. Baba Muktananda said, God dwells in you as you. What does it mean? It means that you are not Alfred. You are God as 
Alfred. I am not Alberto. I am God in this body as Alberto. It's different. Baba Muktananda said it. God dwells within you as you. You are not you. You are God dwelling in, within you as you. Big difference. Everything is God. And each person is God. Each human being is God in that body, experiencing that person. Alfred is not Alfred. Alfred is God dreaming that he is Alfred, experiencing that body. It's different. It's a big difference. So now when I see Alfred, I see God in the body of Alfred. When I see a tree, I see God in the tree. When I see Roberto, I see God in the body of Roberto. There is no Roberto, there is no tree, there is no Alfred. Sai Baba said it. Sai Baba said there are no uh, forms, nothing exists, the universe does not exist, not even the individual souls exist. Only one soul exists, the universal soul, which is mirrored in all the intellects. So God is mirroring himself in each one of us. Each one of us is only a mirror where God sees himself. So when you see Alfred, Alfred is just a mirror where God is dwelling. God is dwelling in that body and is experiencing himself as that body called Alfred. So God, every man is God, every man is simply creator. Baba Muttananda, the guru of my guru, after nine years of meditation, nine hours a day, he achieved, the, he brought his Kundalini to his head, to his seventh chakra, and he saw the entire universe, infinite light, become Shiva and then become himself. He saw that. He saw the entire light of the universe become Shiva, the state of uh, Shiva, and then become himself. So it means he's God. Each one of us is the entire universe. So you repeat, you can do meditation, and you repeat, I'm not this body, I'm not this mind, I am the entire universe, I am infinite light, I am inter eternity. I am absolute, I am an infinite black hole filled with consciousness. This is what I experienced uh, as, uh, there are many kinds of enlightenment. I have experienced the kind of Buddha and Osharanish. Buddha experienced that, Osharanish experienced that uh, in infinite black hole. And I experience the same now, infinite happiness, nothingness. I am nothingness. I am an infinite black hole filled with consciousness. The Buddha achieved that. Uh, the Christ has achieved another kind of enlightenment. He, he achieved the union with Father, the union with the entire universe. Baba Muttananda the same, Vivekananda the same. You can, there are many levels. The disciples of Buddha experience the galaxy. There are many experiences that you can have. Or you can feel infinite love, or you can feel peace. I feel in infinite peace. I experienced uh, enormous peace inside of me. Uh, God is peace. Spirit emanates peace. Yogananda said it, all the masters have said it, Ramana Maharshi said it. The state of realization is peace, complete peace, inner peace. And I achieved it now. You know, Alfred, I don't sleep at night. I, I enjoy every moment. I look at the sky from my window all night, and I'm in bliss. I'm, I'm eternal bliss. My name is eternal bliss. My name, Nityananda, means bliss of eternity. And that's, and my master used to say, look at him, he's always in bliss. He's always in ecstasy, he's always in bliss. Since I was a child, I was in bliss all the time. I'm in bliss, I'm in peace all the time since I was a child. My master saw me when I was 18, he said I was extremely evolved from my past life. I was already enlightened in my past life. I was, let's say, I was, I was very close to enlightenment, very, very close. And my master said, when he saw me, he said he's very close to enlightenment. I was only 18. So my master had told me to go to live at the Sea Spiritual Center. I did it. And in only six years, I achieved enlightenment, the first level. There are many levels. In, when I was 24. So uh, now it's very easy to achieve enlightenment. You people listening to me, 
you just have to repeat on Shivaya, and then you just have to do meditation at night. If you repeat on Shivaya all day, then at night, automatically, you will go into meditation. Yes, if you repeat on Shivaya all day, at night, you will fall into meditation automatically. Because Om Namah Shivaya brings your prana to your head. When the prana goes to your head, you enter meditation. The prana, uh, the fourth chakra is the mind. When the prana is the fifth chakra, is deep sleep or the intellect, the higher mind, or the genius. The, all the great geniuses and artists are the, vibrate at the fifth chakra, the fifth chakra. And the sixth chakra, when the Kundalini reaches the sixth chakra, you see light, you have, you hear sounds, divine sound, you see Mother Mary. You know, Alfred, all those people who could see Jesus and Mother Mary, and they see the blue bird, the white bird, they see the cross of light, they, they see the angels. It's all the sixth chakra. It's the sixth chakra. And when you achieve the seventh chakra, you merge with the infinite. And you, you, and I, you feel like me, like I do now. I feel the infinite every morning. I have become the infinite, Alfred. I am infinite. I am an infinite black hole filled with consciousness, Alfred. Since uh, 2019. So it's very easy to achieve God now. God is here with me now. Uh, God is very real. You think that the, many people think that the world is the world. Planet Earth is real and God is not real. It's the opposite. I can assure you, Alfred, that there is no planet Earth. Yes, at the rest, I'll say that there are many planet Earths many versions of planet Earth or many timelines, then what we're talking about. Then it means it means there is no well, not one objective planet Earth, if there are many, many. The Yasatoresh Bashar, watch the videos of Bashar channeled by Daryl Anka. Bashar says that he's communicating now with 135 planet Earths. So, so what does it mean? It means that there is no planet Earth. If there are 135 planet Earths, it means that it's not real, it's not objective. There is no, the Buddha said it, the forms are, are empty they, and they have no existence. And the, the Buddha says the life forms are not real, they are not existing. The Buddha said it. It's all an hologram. When you look around, you look at yourself. All that you see, Alfred, is a projection. You are, you, are, you are exactly like a movie projector and you are projecting what you see. If you just stop your mind, uh, you will see that nothing exists. One day I was in a room and the room became a black hole and, my, and the blue pearl appeared. My master also, when he gives the Shaktipat, the, blue, the, the room disappears and he sees only the blue pearls in the head of the people. And I've seen my master made a blue light. So all that you see is just blue light. And my master now, uh, if you achieve the seventh chakra, uh, if you look around, you close your eyes, you see blue light all the time. My master, if he closes his eyes, he sees blue light all the time. There's no matter, there's only spirit. Matter does not exist, only spirit exists. Only the blue light of consciousness. Read the book, read the book, Autobiography of a Yogi by Yogananda. Read the book, Play of Consciousness by Baba, by Baba Muktananda, Play of Consciousness. Read my two, my two essays on exopolitics, uh, um, the connection between mysticism and exopolitics, and the other essay on exopolitics by Alberto Cogliani, Agatha, Shambhala, and the Galactic Federation of Planets. So the game is over on planet Earth. Planet Earth is ascending. The light has won. All the negative energies are leaving the planet. The planet is in fourth dimension. Already is vibrating very high and it's going to vibrate very, very high and going to fill the mansion in a couple of years. We will live. We will live like the extraterrestrial live now. They ask the extraterrestrial, how do you live your day? All day, and they, spend, they said we spend all day. Yes, as I said, we spend all day 
expressing our creative talents. We play, we, we swim, we do meditation, we, we chant, we sing, we paint, we paint, opera, theater, music, film, violin, guitar. We will spend all day like, like Leonardo da Vinci. We will all be uh, singers, chanting, dancing, uh, painting, sports, traveling all over the galaxy. We will have <coughs> incredible technologies. We will travel all over the universe instantaneously. We will travel all over. We have already, what I'm telling you, Alfred, we have already the, the army. On planet Earth, we have to do two things. We have to raise our consciousness, raise our vibration, uh, raise our vibration by repeating on Namah Shivaya, do meditation, mantra, prayer. <laughs> and we have to, we have to demand the release of the hidden stolen technologies by the US Army that took from Nikola Tesla. So we have them already. They have, the US Army has already time travel, teleportation, Stargate, the Stargate that you digit where you're going to appear and you appear instantaneously on the other side of the universe. Yes. <laughs> the curable diseases, rejuvenation of about 30 years or more, Hello, Alberto, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, just checking. Mm. So we will have, in six years or from now, you can title this Alberto Cogliani uh, Spiritual School, Academy of Talents, The New Earth is Coming. Because it's going to be a new planet in six years from now. It's fine science fiction. Alfred, we will be, we will be beyond science fiction. We will be uh, you, uh, transportation, magnetic field transportation, teleportation. People will teleport instantaneously all over the planet. Uh, in Africa, after all the deserts in Africa will be transformed into forests and towns. Uh, we will all be as the technology of Star Trek. We will all have the, the technology of Star Trek. You push a button and everything that you want appears. You want food, you push a button, you have food appearing from the ether. They have it already now in the United States. They can transform the uh, air into, into proteins. So we will have a new earth is coming and we will have it in six years only. We will do 5,000 years and we will be a new complete civilization unthinkable for now. Uh, there will be no, Africa will become like Europe and United States. Yes, Africa. All the deserts will become made of the forest and time town. All the population, 8 billion people, will uh, be living in complete harmony, which full of money, full of everything. There will be no money. We will have incredible technologies, so everyone will have everything they want in only six years. You can, Alberto Cogliani, Spiritual School, Academy of Talent, the new earth is coming. And all the, uh, every human being is going to ascend and experience a renaissance of consciousness, a new renaissance of consciousness where everyone will become enlightened. And the Christ consciousness, we will all be merged with the Christ consciousness in six years. 2029, we merge with the Christ consciousness. So that, this is the destiny that I Today I told you about Guardian Angel, Akashic Records, Estatorensis Brothers, and, um, and other things. This is the destiny. I can see the Akasha, and I can tell you, Alfred, 
that uh, now I, when I see something now, the same day, another master says it. One month ago, I said, a wave of love is coming to planet Earth and we'll eliminate all negativity and we'll bring heaven on Earth. The same day, a friend of mine who's a great spiritual master said exactly the same thing. Or more, the greatest channel in France is saying the same thing. Or another master did the same thing that I did. And one month ago, I said, I'm going to create 150. Ha, uh, Alfred, I have created a new project. I created a new project. <coughs> new project. I created seven projects. Uh, Universal Brotherhood of Peace, Sisters of Peace, New Presidential Renaissance. Project Shiva, Project Liberation, Project Christ Consciousness, Project Academy of Sadhana. It's all happening now. Project Healers, of, I created a group of healers, healers, uh, doctors, homeopaths, naturopaths, uh, physiatr, uh, osteopaths, and we are saving human lives. A, human, a group of healers, and then we save human lives for free. We are healing people on Facebook for free. I have, I have these, these amazing ideas, Alfred. I have created a group of healers. Baba Muttananda never did that. My master never did that. Why didn't they think about it? I have created, and I have an idea now, the Project Christ Consciousness, to unite with all the other masters. Baba Muttananda never did that. My master never did that. Why didn't they think about it? They didn't they think about it. I, I, all the projects that I have now, the Project Shiva, I created a project to do every day, you all people listen to me, every day at 22 o'clock, 10 o'clock p.m., you do 10 minutes in meditation, focusing on the picture of Mavatar Babaji that you find in the internet, and you repeat on the Mashivaya for 10 minutes. We can do it all. But Mavatar Babaji said, if 50,000 people do that, at the same time, one night, the planet will change forever. So if I manage to find 50,000 people who will do tonight, you do it tonight at, two, at 10 p.m., 10 minutes, focusing on Mavata Babaji and repeating on Mashivaya. If we do it, 50,000 people, that plan, the guna of the planet, the aura of the planet, which is completely... The planet is already saved. The planet used to be sick in the 80s, like a cancer, and now it's finished. It's, it's healed. The planet is healed. It's healing. It's healing and it's ascending because we are receiving light from all the planets of the universe. We are receiving light and love and energy from all the planets of the universe. There are many, many, many extraterrestrial planets that are sending their light and love to planet Earth. So planet Earth is in sound, used to be very sick, now it's uh, healing completely, and it's ascending. And uh, all the negative entities will have to leave the planet. So the light has won, the game is over, the new Earth is coming, and we are all in the hands of God now. God has decided to save planet Earth and humanity already in the 80s. In the 80s already God had decided that. That's why in, the, in 1987, God, the angels and the Pleiadians inserted their new timeline and made us shift timeline. So in, the, in 87, we shifted timeline. God, there was divine intervention you can recall, you can title this Alberto Gugliani Spiritual School Academy of Talents, Divine Intervention on Planet Earth Occurring. Divine Intervention on Planet Earth Occurring. You can choose, or you can put New Earth is Coming, it's the same. You decide. But New Earth is Coming, you, you wrote it already many times in the past lessons. You said uh, that the New Earth is Coming, a New Age is Coming, and so on. So you can put Divine Intervention Occurring on Planet Earth. God has decided in 1994 to bring up all the dimensions because he has seen the suffering that we have. God has decided in 1994 to bring up all the dimensions and eventually he will reabsorb all the universe. So we are now in complete divine intervention. Many people, Alfred, are saying, why does God let all these bad things happen on planet Earth. He does not. He's intervening. He has changed everything. If without divine intervention, we would have destroyed ourselves centuries ago. There has been divine intervention. God has intervened completely. God is completely intervening on planet Earth. God is putting his hand on planet Earth. 
and the Illuminati, really the Illuminati thought that God would let them uh, kill six billion people within the world. They're crazy. God is not letting them do that. God has stopped, God uh, through the, the angels and through the intervention of the uh, uh, extraterrestrials, God is using the extraterrestrials now to intervene and is stopping all the plans of the, of the dark forces. God and the angels and the extraterrestrials are stopping all the plans and projects of the Illuminati. The Illuminati would have killed all of us already 50 years ago. Otherwise, God has stopped all that. So the light forces are stopping all the uh, actions of the dark forces and the light forces have prepared a trap. You know what I mean, Alfred, a trap, a trap to, to destroy the dark forces. <coughs> So the light forces have created a trap to eliminate the dark forces. And when the dark forces will realize what the trap is, it will be too late. It will be too late. They will fall into the trap. So the game is over. The dark forces are preparing a trap to destroy their forces. So it's finished. So we are all safe and sound. There will only be earthquakes. Nobody can stop them. Not even, yes, but the situation will move them into places less inhabited and they will diminish their power. But that's the only thing, earthquakes. For the rest, humanity, same and sound, 8 billion people, all the children of Earth will not be touched. All the children in Africa will be saved in a couple of years. The Saturation say the first place where we will intervene is Africa. So all the children of Africa are safe and sound. Not one child will die anymore of hunger or starvation. They will all be survive and they will all live a wonderful life. So all the people of Earth will live a wonderful life. Nothing bad is going to happen to us. We are all safe and sound. And we are going to fifth dimension. We are already in fourth dimension. We are going to fifth dimension in a couple of years. All you have to do now, you they ask me, what do I have to do now to prepare for the fifth dimension? You just have to stay quiet in your room, in the silence or in the garden, in the sun, stay in the sun. I stay one hour a day in the sun. Do that, it will change your life. If you stay one hour in the sun every day, you will heal all your illnesses, you will nurture yourself, you will activate your chakras and your DNA. The sun now is transferring information from the galactic core. The center of the galaxy is uh, transferring uh, information and strength and power to our sun. Our sun is sending it to our DNA. So our sun now is uh, reactivating our DNA. So stay in the sun. All you have to do now in the next waiting for 2029, the ascension, and just stay quiet in the garden or in your room, repeat on your Shivaya, stay with your eyes closed, and try to feel the peace within, the peace within the mind. The mind is a lie. The mind does not exist. If the mind uh, doesn't stop, you repeat on your Shivaya until it stops. Repeat on your Shivaya, the mind will stop, and you will feel peace within. Stay like that, stay alone, and be quiet as much as possible. Be quiet, you embody in your mind, eat as little as possible, practice chastity, never, 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 never lose sexual energy because the sexual energy is the key to, to, to contact your spirit. Yes, I have, when you achieve enlightenment, it's because you bring your sexual energy to your head. That's enlightenment. When you bring your sexual energy to your head by repeating on Namah Shivaya. Namah Shivaya Om are the six chakras. Na is the first chakra, Ma is second, and so on. So if you repeat Namah Shivayam, you bring your second energy to your sixth chakra, and it opens your sixth chakra, which is your spirit. So it's very easy. Stay quiet in your room for, until 2029. Quiet, relax, relax as much as possible, sleep as much as possible, eat as little as possible, breathe with your belly, breathe, with your, breathe as much as possible, breathe in. Take very, very, very deep 
uh, in inspiration, in inhale, very deep inhale. You see, breathe as deeply as possible with your belly. Try to get as much as oxygen in your body as possible. If you never lose sexual energy, you will nurture your body will nurture itself with the sexual energy, and you will not need to eat anymore. When I was at the spiritual school, I only ate a soup and a croissant in one day. Sometimes I was not eating for two days because I never lose sexual energy. So I, my body was nurturing itself with my own sexual energy. And my, my, my guru said, after years of sadhana, you become like Nityananda, where the sexual energy is in every cell of his body now. And you see it in his look, in his skin. So it means that the key to, to evolve is to bring you, transform your body, to bring your sexual energy all over your body. That's the key to evolve spiritually. The extraterrestrial said the most important that you people on Earth do is how you use your sexual energy. Yes, the extraterrestrial, the Pleiadians, Barbara Massinia said it. So the sexual energy is the key. Never lose it. Say no Shibaya, bring it to your head, and you it will, uh, and the sexual energy in your head opens the sixth and second chakra. It opens the chakra of the head, the thyroid, the pituitary gland, sixth chakra, and the pineal gland, seventh chakra. The key, yoga means to bring all your energy to your the, the, the glands of your head, pituitary gland and pineal gland. So that's yoga. Yoga means control of your vital energy. It doesn't mean union, like they say. It means control. You just have to control your, your sexual energy and bring it to your head instead of losing it. And that will transform you and bring you to enlightenment. Leonardo da Vinci, that's why Leonardo da Vinci, they thought he was homosexual because he was not having women and they didn't understand. The Buddha also, they, they, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, they thought he was homosexual because they didn't understand the, that he was without a woman, because he was practiced, because he was never losing his energy. He was not having sex because he was using it. He knew he had transformed himself. He knew the techniques. He knew Kundalini Yoga. It's called, uh, read everything in the internet about Kundalini Yoga. What is Kundalini Yoga? How to practice Kundalini Yoga? What you have to do in Kundalini Yoga? What is the goal of Kundalini Yoga? So this is the key to bring the Kundalini to your head is the, the goal of life. When the Kundalini reaches your head, you will experience that you are God, like I have experienced. Each one of you is God, infinite creator. There is only God. There is no universe. There is no Nityananda, no Alberto, no Alfred. It's only God. I am not Alberto, Nityananda, I am God. Experiencing this body. You are not Alfred, you are God in that body. And you think that you are Alfred. <clears throat> now God is dreaming. You just have to wake up Alfred. And when you will wake up in the end, you will realize that nothing exists except you and that you are an infinite black hole filled with consciousness, which is Shiva. So this is Kundalini Yoga. Uh, the goal of life is to achieve uh, identification with the universe, with, the entire, with God, Shiva, before the creation. And this is what I've done. I've done 30 years of meditation. I've done 27,000 hours of meditation. I've repeated on Namah Shivaya billions of times. I opened all my chakras. I activated all my DNA. I have achieved the 12th chakra. 12th chakra. The first chakra is mineral. Second chakra, vegetal. Third chakra, animal. Fourth chakra, the mind. Fifth chakra, deep sleep. Sixth chakra, the spirit. Seventh chakra, infinite white light. Eighth chakra, the master of Shambhala. Nine chakra, the moon. Ten chakra, the sun. Eleven chakra, the center of the galaxy. Twelve chakra, Shiva. Shiva, an infinite black hole filled with consciousness before creation. <laughs> There is only God. 
The universe is a dream. It's not real. You are dreaming everything. There is no planet Earth. You are dreaming it. Okay. Uh, this, that's the lesson for today. God, God bless you all. God bless you all, Alfred. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you very much.